Hello everyone, welcome back again. So in the continuation of our vocabulary series, today is the day 35th. So let's see what are the words for the day 35th with us. So at your screen, the very first word is M-A-L-E-V-O-L-E-N-T and the pronunciation is malevolent, right? So what does it mean? It means intending or intended to harm. Means if a person is having this kind of intention that he or she is going to harm other person. So it is also known as malevolent, right? The situation or the scenario is known as malevolent. So let's understand with the help of example. So the example is he was found guilty of malevolent damage, right? A person found guilty about which damage he found guilty about the malevolent damage because that person is definitely having a kind of intention to harm others, right? So the person is known as, uh, sorry, the person is guilty for the malevolent damage, right? It's a very nice word to use or we can say advanced word to use. Moving to the next word that is N-E-F-A-R-I-O-U-S and the pronunciation is nefarious, right? Again, uh, these two words malevolent and nefarious are quite similar. So nefarious means wicked or criminal, right? You can use uh, wicked or criminal with the word nefarious as a synonym. So let's see, understand with the help of example. The nefarious activities of the organized crime syndicates. Okay, let's understand with the easy example. So here, the nefarious activities lock the center. Means there's a center who, uh, that is locked by the police or any kind of government or organization just due to the nefarious activities. Means wicked or criminal kind of activities were there. That is why it was locked, right? So these are the two words for the day, malevolent and nefarious. I hope you understood well. So uh, stay tuned for the other days also. So, uh, thank you so much for listening and the uh, two words are malevolent and nefarious. Alright then, thank you so much for listening.